Hey guys, the dolls, Kevin back with you. Watch it a little cannonball run behind me. What else are you gonna do on a, a Sunday morning in uh, February? But gauging by all the comments and stuff like that I've seen from a previous video, there's some interest in the Porter Cable uh, line of tools. So a little walk out to uh, Tractor Supply and I got a new tool. So stay tuned and let's talk about it. This is Man Card Theater. Like I said, I went out to uh, Tractor Supply to see what all they had out there, and I ran into a heck of a bargain. So I thought I'd share it with you. A lot of you have expressed interest in the previous uh, video that I did on uh, the Porter Cable 20 volt system and I got the impact uh, the half inch impact the, the stubby one and I get a lot of comments oh go brushless do this do that don't call them cheap so on so forth I, I couldn't agree more brushless is the way to go and I instead of thinking that they're cheap I say they're inexpensive so the life that you could get out of them it is worth it. You could get three or four tools for the price of a DeWalt or something like that. And like I said, since my business doesn't depend on it, I'll get something that works for me. Well, I'm, I'm pretty well established in the 20 volt system from Porter Cable. And so that's what I'm expanding on. And uh, going out to Tractor Supply, lo and behold, I ran into one heck of a deal. I got the 3 8 inch ratchet and the box had been cut open like when they opened the bigger box uh, to fill inventory the knife had hit this so for a whopping $19.99 I got the 3 8 inch Porter Cable 20 volt ratchet. So, let's open the box and take a look at what we got. I went ahead and I popped the top here, but uh, just to look at the specs, uh, it is 3 8 inch drive, and it has 35 foot-pounds of torque, and 0 to 300 RPM. So, it's the tool only, didn't get any batteries or anything like that. Like I said, it was already cut open. So, looks like it's uh, pretty well straightforward. Uh, it's just, it's just a ratchet. So let's pull it out here. I guess it does come with a, a book. I don't know what you're gonna learn from the book, because if you don't know how to use a ratchet by now, I'm gonna guess uh, you have no business buying this in the first place. But you, you get a manual. get the the ratchet it's pretty heavy and I don't know what else to tell you about it a quick look at it this way it's 14 inches long and like I said it has some weight so it's not going to get into those hard to reach spots it's probably not gonna take lug nuts off or anything like that but I think it'll do a, a pretty good job uh, with some of the busy work sitting there just cranking and cranking on a ratchet this way it'll uh, it'll take care of that so let's get a battery on it we went ahead and put a 1.5 uh, amp battery on there and I brought her in the house, put it on the postal scale. So you can see with the battery on there, it's one, or I'm sorry, it's two pounds and 12 ounces. So just a tick under three pounds. Let's put a socket on it. Okay, let's get a socket. We don't really have anything to take apart right now, so. Why don't we just get a 15 millimeter uh, deep one and let's take the 
tire off my bicycle. Why not? Like I said, it's February and it's a nice day in February here in Illinois. So with the doors open, we are at 50 degrees. So you don't get too many of those days in February. So we're out here taking advantage of it. Anyway, back to the socket, 15 millimeter deep well. Let's uh, see if I can put it on this beast one-handed. Let's get the camera on it. And, oh, that was simple enough. We'll pull the trigger. Oh yeah. We'll flip it uh, and go in the reverser. Both ways seem to work. So far, $19 well spent. All right, fellas, we've got my bicycle here. You know how I stay so slim and trim. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take this uh, bolt off right here. The nut, bolt, nut, take the nut off. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. We're going to go ahead and take her off and see if she can do it. Oh, we got, looky there, kids. We've got the light emitting diode that will uh, keep everything lit for you. There we go. We got it off. So, uh, it didn't take much. So, why don't we put it back on and see how tight she gets it. So, remember, always start a nut with a, an impact. No. We got it uh, finger started. We go ahead and put it on there. We'll uh, give it a little flip, and we got it on. Now, uh, I'm going to guess that it's probably not the tightest that you want it to go bike riding, so let's just give it a little turn. Oh, yeah, and she is taut. She is tight. Now, I would imagine, knowing how much I've got that tight, I'm going to guess this thing won't break it free, so let's reverse it and give it a whirl. Oh, I'm a liar. It did. So, hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Flip it back. Tighten it up. Give it a little hand tight after that. And this bike is ready to uh, ride again in uh, uh, two years when I get it back out. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's not going to take care of the heavy stuff. It's not going to crack stuff free that have been on for years and years. But uh, what it will do, it'll save your wrist and a lot of sitting there cranking on a, a ratchet. So... Uh, I'm going to guess break things free, the really uh, big stuff with a, a breaker bar, and then let this do the busy work. Same way when you get ready to put it back together. Finger start it, get this to where it uh, cranks it down, and then uh, torque it to uh, the desired spec. But all in all, uh, a good little tool for 20 bucks. Okay. Well, I know I've said it probably 30 times already that I got this for 20 bucks, And it is, in all fairness, that's because the box was cut. So I think regular retail is uh, $49.99. Even at that price, you know, think about it. It's uh, the same price as taking uh, the little lady to Applebee's. Why don't uh, you go get you the, one of these? If you've already got the the 20 volt system and uh, hey it'll save you some time it'll save you some uh, wrist action and all in all I'm happy with the purchase so uh, I can tell you that I like going out, out to tractor supply once in a while they have things on clearance you know you run into deals like this and as I've said before that is the place to go get the Porter cable tools. I don't know if it's exclusive or not, 
Probably not. You can find stuff on Amazon, and there's always the obey. But uh, all in all, go out there, see what you can get your mitts on, and if it saves you a little uh, time and energy, hey, great. So, until next time, you know, it's uh, a Sunday afternoon now. I still got the cannonball run on. We're going to continue watching that. And uh, until next time, don't forget to keep your man card punched.